Today we're going to take a look at the latest real flight simulator, the RF 9.5. So let's get started. Right, here we've got our Spectrum DXS transmitter box. That's a pretty neat box, so let's open it up. Inside we've got two cardboard covers on either side. Let's pull it out and there we've got a manual for the transmitter in which we've got all the instructions, the transmitter specs and the type of buttons and so on. Let's open up the cardboard top cover and here we've got our transmitter inside a plastic cover. Let's take it out. And there we've got our sick looking transmitter. Now before we'll have a look at the transmitter, let me tell you the specs of this transmitter. It's got 7 channels, its modulation is DSMX, its frame rates are 22ms, its resolution is 2048, its receiver is an AR410, model memory is 1, its modes are user selectable from 1 to 4, it's powered by AA batteries, its range is full, rate position is full, proportional inputs are 4, its frequency is 2.4 GHz, voltage is between 3.5 to 9 volts. Alright, now let's take a look at the transmitter. It's got a lot of switches and buttons and different channels like the throttle, rudder, aileron and the elevator. Alright, let's keep that aside and now let's take a look at what else we have inside this box. We've got this wire thingy which you don't need to worry about for now, but you'll need it when you're connecting the when you're connecting that transmitter to an RC plane as that's what is as that's what connects your transmitter to the receiver and helps in communicating your transmitter and the plane. Now let's take a look at the dongle. It's just a normal looking USB stick except that this is the dongle for the Spectrum DXS controller. Now let's slide the carbon cover and here we've got our dongle. This is what you use to connect your transmitter to your PC. And the receiver is what you use to connect with the airplane so you have to know the difference. The dongle is to connect that transmitter to the PC and the receiver to connect the transmitter to the, air, to the airplane. Now let's take a look at the real flight simulator CD box. It's a pretty small tin box and inside we've got this cardboard cover thing. Let me slide it out. And here we've got the CD cover and inside we have this installation guide which you can read. And here we've got two CDs for the installation. You put in the first CD and then after it's completed that, it'll, it'll ask you to insert the next CD. You put in the disc 2 or the second CD to complete the installation. Now to take out the CD, you should not pull it out because that will sometimes break the CD. All you've got to do to remove the CD is to press that small to press that white button in the center. If you push that, the CD will pop out. So never pull out the CD. You should only press the center of that CD box and in the hole in the center of the CD, there's that white thing. Just press it and then the CD will pop out and then you can install. And yeah, that's all I've got. I had the receiver as well, but had unboxed, but I had unboxed the controller box earlier, so I had taken the receiver out. But don't get fooled, guys. You can get the you get the receiver in the box as well, or you can it. And if you don't get it, you can get it um, separately from the link I'll give in the description below. All right, now before we end, I wanna share with you the two type of purchases which you can make for the to, for, for buying the simulator. The first one is the one I bought and the one I just showed you guys in this video is a bit expensive but it's really worth it i'll show you why the first thing is that i bought the software separately without the controller and then i bought the transmitter in which we've got the receiver let's keep the receiver aside we'll come back to it later now this controller is a wireless controller which you want which you can use for the simulator and you can use it for real life planes you've got to buy a spectrum dxs dongle for connecting it to your pc um, so that you can run you can use this transmitter to control the airplanes in that simulator now the receiver this receiver comes with the box of the transmitter because we need this for connecting your controller not to a pc but to a real life airplane so i guess you've got it by now we've got the spectrum dxs controller in which you can practice flying planes in the simulator by connecting that controller to your pc by using a dongle and then after you have learned well you can use that same controller in which you learned to fly to fly real life plane by ditching the dongle and then connecting that receiver which came in the box to a real life RC plane, which helps in linking your DXS transmitter to the plane. 
Now for the next type of purchase which I don't recommend to people who gonna play, who are gonna practice only in the simulator and then and then fly a plane in the, and and then fly a real life plane. This version, this type of purchase is where we get the software and the controller together except that the controller has just has a wire which you connect to your PC and there is no receiver so you cannot use this controller to fly, to fly real life planes as this controller only works for a PC. Now if you're gonna buy a plane in the future then you'll have to buy a separate transmitter and receiver which is pretty expensive. Even though some planes come with transmitters and receiver the best option for people who are gonna fly real life planes in the future after practicing in the simulator is the first option where you buy this where you buy this transmitter separately the receiver and the software as well as the dongle so that you can practice flying in your pc and then use that very same controller and then use the receiver as well to connect your airplane and fly your real life planes but the method i showed you just now which is um, buying the software and the controller together is a bit cheaper method but it's really expensive for people who are, gonna, who, are, who are planning on flying real life planes in the future as they've got to buy the real as they've got to buy the transmitter and the receiver separately all right now that we've got that out of the way let's have a look at the price differences the first type consists of the transmitter which costs 220 to 224 dollars or 159 pounds along with the software which costs 136 dollars or 96.53 pounds which and of course the dongle which costs 37 dollars or 26 pounds link to all of these are there in the description and please note that the price may change as well. So now all of these together cost $397 or 281 pounds. Now let's take a look at the other version, the other type of purchase in which you can buy all of them in just one piece. Yes guys, you can buy this interlink controller and the software together in just one single purchase, which costs $180 or 127.73 pounds. Like I said, the link to all of these are there in the description. So now you just saw the price difference. The first one costs $397 or 281 pounds or the other one which is the software and the controller only which you can use for your PC only which costs $180 or 127.73 pounds. So guys that's it on this tutorial. If you find this video helpful make sure to give this video a like and share with your friends. And if this video gets 20 likes, I'll make a beginner tutorial on how to fly planes in the simulator, including all the transmitter calibration and so, so on. So guys, see you later. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.